Hi everyone, this is Rachel with Razzle Crafts. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, I do cra I sh share what I craft, and um, that's pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, I'm into um, like junk journals and other kind, some other kinds of crafts. Um, I have a couple of swap groups that I'm in, and um, I do like shabby chic. Um, I, I like a lot of different things, traditional, um, I'm not really into cutesy, uh, so let's go ahead and get into this junk journal that I created this week. Um, I was trying to use up all of the papers that I had printed off of the nativity set from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Um, she is here on, sorry, I had a swell, um, YouTube. And um, you can find her papers on Etsy or her store. So anyways, um, I'm going to try and get into this. Um, I used some lace um, down the center. I used this red crochet lace, this bow, red bow, um, and some flower trim. And then I had this um, gold ribbon. And I used this, I backed this camel, sorry with some fabric that I kind of scrunched up. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I had sewn around the edge of the little, it's a soft um, back little journal. Um, it doesn't really show up because I had red in my bobbin and I didn't realize it, but it is what it is. Um, over here, I can have a little torn pocket. Um, I put a label right there. Um, I backed this with some dictionary paper and here I created um, just a little envelope and um, it turned out super cute. Um, I put one of the stamps right there from the ephemera kit. And over here I created a little shallow pocket and made a little journaling card. I have not um, covered that with any writing paper yet. Um, and here I put a little stamp. I have this kind of fun torn edge right there. You can see this dictionary page a little bit. Here I did two side pockets and I have a little fold out right here. And um, I probably should have layered this differently, but it is what it is now. And I made this little tag and layered some ephemera pieces. That's some writing paper on the back. And this coffee dye paper smells amazing. It is um, like a Diva caramel flavored coffee um, that my daughter had gotten me. Um, and I don't like um, flavored coffee because I can taste like chemicals, um, but it's worked great for this. Um, but you know, I tried to drink it and stuff, but I just, I, it just was not my thing and she understood. Um, so anyways, I'm like, I can still use it for coffee dyeing and it smells amazing. So this whole thing smells delicious. Um, I wanted to put some different size papers. So um, I have this little short piece, I put a little stamp here. This is some music paper that I had like splattered some bronze paint on. And this is one of the paper pieces. Over here, I create a little pocket. Um, I like these kind of pockets because, you know, if I want something bigger, it'll fit. I, it does not not like glue down on all sides. So this is um, actually a tag from the ephemera kit. I love this scene, the little forest scene. It's so pretty. Um, this is one of the ephemera pieces that I used for a side pocket. I created a tag from this piece. Like I said, I wanted to use everything up that I had had. Um, this is some scrapbook paper that I thought could work in here because I didn't want it to just all be, um, you know, coffee dyed papers and, um, you know, the kit. I wanted a little bit of variation. So here's one of the banners. And uh, there's some smaller papers. And over here I have a little side pocket, a little tag, and a little piece of folded writing paper. And this was um, like a stationary piece or something. 
here I made like two shallow pockets and I used my little um, chomper thing, a crop a dial corner chomper um, that I got from Tuesday morning to, to make the little sides. And this one um, is just a dictionary page. It's a little fold out. You can like put whatever you want in there. And this one I put like writing paper. And over here, um, I made a little pocket. This one's glued on both sides, all three sides. And this little tag turned out really cute. And over here, I have a little fold out piece. And there's a banner. This is a piece that I cut out and I thought it looked pretty right there. And um, there's more of the paper, some coffee dyed paper. And um, over here I have a long like side tuck, kind of little shallow pocket. I layered it with this ephemera piece and this is some of the like stationary kind of paper. Um, but I printed this on um, light scrapbook or light cardstock so it's not like normal <laughs> it's not photocopy paper um so this is a tag and i need to cover the back um and this is um another one of those like writing pieces and i thought this was such a great idea for attaching it's like a piece of washi but it goes with everything in there um i put this little ephemera piece sorry about that um and i hope i haven't been covering things up with my hands i do apologize if i have um this little ephemera piece for a little tab i thought that worked really well and i put this pocket right here i did some distress ink on some of this and this is just a little tag that i made and that is the journal this is a silent night. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, yeah, I don't have um, a specific person in mind for this one. Um, I might just hold on to it. Um, and I've been thinking about maybe um, like gathering, you know, keeping um, some items that I might want to try and sell eventually. I don't know. Um, so that is what I made. And um I just wanted to share real quick with you about my December daily journey. <laughs> I was so excited about doing the December daily when I made my December daily for the swap. And um, I just kind of want to go over some of the ideas that I had had. Um, I missed our light parade. I forgot about it. So I was kind of a little bummed about that, but I was tired and I forgot. Um, and these were some of the things I wanted to do. Um, I got a photo with my kitty. Um, I got the baking done. Um, we haven't done sugar cookies, but I did get two other kinds of cookies made. Um, kind of ran out of time. Um, and the decorating, um, did some Christmas shopping. got, um, what is that called? <laughs> I got snapshots of it. Um, so, um, I'm trying to think like noted, not noted. Um, yeah, I can't think of the right words that I'm trying to think of, but anyways, um, kind of had a little bit of a movie night, um, but not really officially. Like it's really hard to get older, uh, young adult kids to like commit to something like that. <laughs> um, we wanted to have a game night, but it hasn't really happened. Um, my, my oldest daughter who's staying, living here, um, she, she works like 12 hour shifts. So it either has to be on her day off and like, she just went on a trip. So that's been kind of hard to try and plan. And during the week, like some of us are just so exhausted by the time we're done making dinner and that sort of thing. So anyways, that hasn't happened, but I also did, um, bought Christmas gifts for the giving tree, which is one of my favorite things to do. And, um, yeah, so I was just kind of excited that I've been able to kind of check off the list of some of those things. Um, uh, you know, what kinds of things have you been able to get done? Oh, and the other thing I was going to share with you, 
Um, so I've been trying to keep track of the Christmas movies that I've been watching so I can put them in my <clears throat> December daily. And I discovered because uh, I was wrapping presents and I wanted, I wasn't really in the mood. And I was like, well, maybe if I just put on some, some sort of Christmas show or something. Um, and so that's what I did. And I put on like, I think it was Frosty the Snowman from like the 1960s or something. But it was nostalgic for me because um, it was the kind of show that we would watch when I was a kid. Like it would be on TV like once a year. Um, and, you know, there was like Santa Claus is Coming to Town and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And so um, it was just like... I just wanted to watch all of them. So I've been trying to find all of the ones um, that are related, you know, that same genre, whoever made them. And um, yeah, it's just gotten me in the holiday spirit. And I just thought it was so exciting that just something silly, it seems like something silly like that, like something that you watched all the time um, would make such a difference um because like I watched some of the other like movies and they didn't really get me in the spirit it was kind of nice to watch but it wasn't the same so I just found that those really got me in spirit I think part of it is the the wonderful music that they have as well um so I will let you all go thank you for watching and I wanted to get a little crafting done um at some sort today and um I'm gonna try and figure out something I can do and I will talk to y'all soon. Um, have a blessed day and thank you for watching. Bye.